Gonzalo Fernandez Castano will have an overqualified caddy by his side as he looks to regain his European Tour card at the final stage of qualifying school in Spain. Fernandez Castano will have European Tour stalwart Alvaro Quiroz on his bag for the grueling six-round tournament at Lumine, where 156 players are competing with only the top 25 in ties earning the right to play in the 2018 season. The Spaniards are both seven-time winners on tour, and Fernandez Castano is counting on their combined experience to see them through one of the toughest tests in the game. Gonzalo Fernandez Castano is one of 30 European Tour winners in the field at Q School. I've probably got the most overqualified caddy here. We have 14 European Tour victories between the two of us, said Fernandez Castano, whose last win was the BMW Masters four years ago before he joined the PGA Tour the following season. Having Alvaro on the bag, not just for being such an experienced player and knowledgeable guy but also having a friend on the bag for such an important week, where patience is going to be key, I think that's going to help a lot and make it as fun as playing Q school can be. It's been part of my plan since the beginning of the year because I want to go back to being a European Tour member. Even though I'm mainly living and playing more in the USA, it now makes sense with the new regulations of only having to play four tournaments. I think it's going to be a fun week, especially having Alvaro on the bag. It's going to be interesting, so I'm looking forward to it. Fernandez Castano is looking forward to having Alvaro Quiroz on his bag at Lumine. Fernandez Castano is one of 30 European Tour winners in the field for the event starting on Saturday, including former Ryder Cup stars Oliver Wilson and Niklas Fast. Twotime BMW PGA Championship winner Anders Hansen is also attempting to win back his card along with experienced Englishman Simon Dyson, who won the last of his six European Tour titles in 2011. Kiros won his seventh European Tour title at the Rocco Forte Open in May. I'm not feeling too bad. I haven't really played very well since I came back from wrist surgery so it's been a case of building back up to hopefully getting back on tour properly, said Dyson. I've played the last couple of years on tour and not really done much good but I'm doing some good work with my fitness coach and I feel like there's maybe a few more years left in me. I'm 40 this year and there's not that many 40-year-olds on tour anymore. All these young guns who bomb at 320 are taking over the world. I'll give it my best go and see what happens. I don't really think I've got much pressure on me as I've been on tour for 18 years, so if it doesn't happen I've had a good career.